All right, well, I did it. I put a second G5 in the arrow. I've had a number of guys ask me how I like my current setup. And what I did this last week is uh, I put in the second G5, the attitude display indicator, the ADI from Garmin. Um, still have the original panel from the last six months, but in, uh, in my training, in my instrument training, um, my turn and bank coordinator down here failed and I had to send that in to get uh, overhauled and that's when I decided here uh, three weeks ago to replace it with the turn and bank indicator from uh, Garmin here on the, the G5. So now I have the turn and bank here and I have the, the ADI by Garmin and then I also put in a magnetic mount for my phone right here. So I run Garmin Pilot on that and I can just put the magnetic clip in there. Still have my steam gauges for my attitude uh, indicator here because I need that to run my autopilot. But uh, what what determined this entire decision was uh, the turn and bank failed. I kept noticing as I was doing my instrument training, I would constantly go back to the PFD uh, in my you know hood work for instrument training and that's when I decided you know what since I have to uh, fix my turn and bank I'm actually going to go with the G5 ADI here and that way I don't have to flip flop constantly so now I have this permanently the other thing that I really use a lot in instrument training is the altitude select it's so nice like when you're flying with a CFI or you're talking to um, ATC, if they say, you know, climb 3000, you can just hit 3000. It bugs it out right here. You select it. And this also gives you visual alerts. So I love that about the G5 attitude display. I also added the GAD 13. So on the ground, I get density altitude. Um, I now get outside air temperature right down here. As you can see, outside air temperature. I get true air speed. And then I'll show you a picture from when I went flying today of uh, outside wind data. Uh, I'll show you crosswind data. So uh, very much like those features. I also like it now that when I select my heading, it still shows up on my HSI, but it also shows up right here on uh, the ADI as well. So 310, you can see it just pegs it right there. And you can also see the, well, let's do this. You can see the bug come right across the top here on the display. So very happy with that. And then the last thing that I very much like about it is just all the features. You know, it has my air speeds, has um, my, uh, you know, climb and descent uh, indicator, you know, uh, feet per minute has my altitude right on there as well and my V speeds and everything. So just extra redundancy and it costs a little bit more, but it took care of my turn and bank. So now I also have my actual um, attitude display here, attitude display here. I have a backup on here as well. So just extra redundancy. And then, yeah, the other thing people have asked me about is why uh, the flight directors. How does the flight director work on here? Well, the flight director, I talked to Garmin and you do need the 500, the GFC 500 autopilot to work on that. Uh, what I've noticed though is you really don't need the flight director because you have the CDI and what will happen here is if you put in your flight plan, um, a CDI will show up on the bottom and it'll tell you if you're left of course, right of course. And then when you're flying in altitude or on approach, I should say, you'll get the vertical CDI as well. So you do have a, a, a horizontal CDI and a vertical CDI, and they do show up on both the HSI and the, the ADI. And uh, so it, in a way it does have a flight director, but it's not a true flight director like you have in the autopilot. I do not have Garmin's autopilot. I just have the wing leveler, but it, it works out very, very well. I'm very happy with it. So. Hope uh, you guys get some information out of this and hope it's helpful to you. But those were just my decisions in regards to making this choice. Um, yes, it costs a little bit more money, 
but very happy with it. So hope this helps you out. We'll talk to you later.